everyone, it's Amy, and today I'm going to be testing and reviewing this product by Neuro, and it's Neuro Bliss. I found out about them about a year or a year and a half ago when I got a free coupon or free voucher, whatever you want to call it, online from Neuro, and I was going to get Neuro Sleep, but I never actually went to the store and got it. But I saw this last night. I found out there were more different types than just Neuro Sleep. There's also one for energy and one for reducing stress, and this one is for reducing stress. I got this last night at Rite Aid. And, okay, so it says Neuro Bliss helps reduce stress, enhances mood, provides focused concentration. My thoughts on this product are pretty neutral. I'm not really skeptical, but I'm not 100% sure that's even going to work. I'm not super, super stressed out right now, but I wouldn't say, like, oh, I'm so happy, like, I'm over the rainbow either. So um, I'm going to try it out, and then I'll let you guys know what happens. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm neutral, like I said. Do you remember those little Kool-Aid things you get where you have to kind of chew off the top? They're plastic or rubber. It tastes like those things, but with a little less sugar. It's not that sweet. It's a little strong, but it's not bitter. It tastes like blue Kool-Aid. Like blue raspberry Kool-Aid, pretty much. Before, I was feeling a little bit like... I don't really feel like that different, but obviously I don't think it would really have a big difference on you. I will say that I've been pretty tired lately, and I guess I was a little like bored, maybe a tiny bit impatient. In general, stress doesn't really bother me that much. The ingredients are as follows, carbonated water, crystalline fructose, natural flavors, citric acid, malic acid, potassium sorbate, sodium benzoate, sucralose, Acesulfame, potassium, soy lecithin, and colosalciferol. That reminded me of Calcifer, the fire demon from House of Castle. By Diana Wynne Jones. I'm thinking maybe it's a placebo because I'm not sure which of those has like a stress reducing chemical reaction in the brain. So I'm not sure which one of those has a stress reducing effect. But I'd say now that it's been, I think, 27 to 30 minutes since I've started drinking. A drink. I'm noticing that I'm a little more upbeat and like a little, maybe a little impatient. Like I have more energy and want to take on more stuff, want to do more things. I don't really feel that big of a difference. I just noticed that I think maybe my mood has risen a little bit, just a little bit. I think that definitely if I were to drink this over a longer period of time that I might notice a difference in stress. And combining this with other things like positive coping mechanisms and, you know, like, maybe sing a therapist. I think that all that could help, like, reduce your stress threshold so that, you know, that you'd be stronger and you could resist stress, like, more easily. If you get what I mean? Like, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor or therapist. I think that it's very subtle. It's not going to work like a happy pill or, you know, just a major, like, on and off switch. I'd say a rating, probably a B plus or an A minus. 